Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to 5 Minute Crypto, the channel where we cover the most important crypto news in just 5 minutes, back again with another breaking crypto news episode without advertisements. Starting it off, the ECB president, Christine Lagarde, blasts Bitcoin role in facilitating crime. She has basically said that there are some loopholes for people to still launder money with Bitcoin and there need to be some heavier and more proper regulations to make sure that this is not going to be possible anymore. Now, I found this really interesting because she's actually been rather quiet on the whole matter for the longest amount of time. And even though these types of matters I mostly cover on the Dusty BC channel, I think it was still worth a mention as it's a pretty big part of the news. Biden selects MIT blockchain professor Gary Gensler to head the SEC, SEC. So the current chair is leaving and Gary Gensler will be appointed to the position of SEC chairman, according to reports. Gensler has taught courses about Bitcoin and blockchain at MIT, and basically he's crypto savvy and thus this might be a very positive thing for crypto. However, exactly how this is going to roll out, we do not yet know, as of course he is getting a role like this and he cannot really decide everything for himself. There's still a committee, basically, of people who have to make choices. Even though the really negative crypto artists might be out, I think it's rather interesting to see this person coming in. This is possibly the worst thing that could ever happen to a Bitcoin investor. This basically refers to somebody, uh, Stefan Thomas from Ripple, who lost a huge amount of money in Bitcoin, $220 million worth, because he lost his password. And that's one thing I need to warn you guys all about. Basically, be very careful with your passwords. Be very careful with where you store your crypto. Make sure you always get a, a, a way to access it once more. Because otherwise, you might be out of money. You know, that's a little bit of a strange sentence. But you might run the risk of losing money through this. Are you guys getting what I'm trying to say? If you just lose your password, you might run out or leave out on like 100 or $200 million eventually. Even though it's right now only worth 1000 and I got a little bit distracted because I'm getting a call from a, a private number, but, uh, you know, whatever. Thousands of merchants will no longer be able to accept XRP. This refers to the fact that CoinGate, which normally facilitates crypto payments, will stop plugging XRP, basically stopping a lot of payments, which is very bad. But again, we cannot do anything about it. Uh, personally, still holding XRP. Altcoins poised to rally as next impulse wave targets $550 billion. Interesting. Uh, we've actually talked for the longest amount of time about whether or not all coin season has right now started or if this is still Bitcoin's game. And as of this point, it really looks like it's still Bitcoin's game, even though all coins are actually doing good while Bitcoin fell down. And I've always said what will happen is Bitcoin will gain like crazy, then all coins will follow suit. But Bitcoin will gain even crazier, get the dominance back. And at one point, Bitcoin will fall down while alts actually keep prospering. And the only coin that might be... A bad example is Ethereum, but the rest of the coins are actually following suit quite nicely, where right now they're, they're still going up when Bitcoin is still going down. So from that perspective, it might really be around the corner here. And is another Bitcoin price drop incoming? Personally, we've thought Bitcoin is going to hit $27,500, but Scott Melker said on Twitter, after a sizable move, and by the way, I do not trust his words, but all right, after a sizable move, you expect an impulse reactive bounce of around 50%. That just happened, and it is a classic short setup. I am not trading this, would not be surprised if it continued up, but I'm still watching for price to make another low and form a bullish div. So, personally, once more, I'm saying we can't go down further, but I'm not taking the risk, because I also know there's so many options out there right now open for a huge Bitcoin price, for a huge Ethereum price, basically, for crypto to just keep going up, that I'm not going to try speculate on the price going down. You know, I'm, I'm really not that excited uh, about the pr about price going up because it means less buying opportunities for us. But I do think it might happen, uh, which is also a positive sense, of course, because, hey, your portfolio goes up in amount of dollars. But since I think in amount of coins rather than amount of dollars, yeah, it's definitely not the best because it's going to be more expensive to get our coins. And since I'm not planning on selling anytime soon anyway, I'd rather have it low so I can just purchase more at this lower price for gains eventually. Because think about it, what if it was in the March stage right now for another year or so, you'd have a year to accumulate cheap, right? Wouldn't that be amazing? Because you already have in the back of your head that the prices will go up eventually, which I have. Yeah, knowing that, price going down is very, very nice and I hope it's going to happen soon. On the contrary, we can also build from here and just keep going up. That would also be sufficient, basically, because that would mean our portfolio, of course, becomes worth a lot more. 
hopefully maybe mitigating the effect of buying more coins. But yeah, that was it for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it and I'll see you again in another video tomorrow.